As it turns out, lanolin is not great for soap making. Therefore, I will attempt to extract oil from acorns. There are many oak trees in my area, so I will have a large supply. I will also need hardwood ashes, and oak is a hardwood. I purchased some cloth, and I will use it to hold the acorns I collect. I collected a bunch of acorns. I will hold them in this cloth for safekeeping. I went out and bought a backpack gloves, and a couple of books. I found a large branch, which will make walking a little easier. And I gathered a few circlets of small branches, and placed them around my head, for camouflage. Before I can process the acorns, I have to make a cutting board. And in order to do that, I will need something with which I can smooth out wood. I am going to use dogfish skin, which is quite rough. I will travel to Drainer Village, which is located near shallow, open waters. This is where dogfish usually can be found. First, I will catch some shrimp, and use them as bait. Thank you. 
Great. I got a dogfish. I will release the sardine. I will now remove the dogfish's skin before I gut and cook him. I'll let him cook. I had to purchase some tools and items before I could start cooking. The dogfish is still fresh enough to eat. I went to a few rickety old shops with rickety old shopkeepers, and bought a few books and an old scroll on various subjects. I also purchased a small glass orb from a trader in Drainer Village. It can commune with energies emitted from a crystal in the king's castle in Varric. I can use the orb to read these energies and determine the upcoming weather patterns with relative certainty. This makes it easier to plan ahead when traveling, which is important for a journey some craftsmen like myself. For example, on days that will probably see rain, it can be very dangerous to camp next to streams and rivers, because they can flood extremely quickly, without warning. Speaking of camping, I purchased a bear hide in Varric, which, when rolled out on the ground, will be very comfortable to sleep upon. I also purchased a wool cloak, which makes a great tent covering, because wool is both water and fire retardant, being that it is a protein-based material, as opposed to a carbohydrate-based material, like linen. I also went spelunking and found around 2000 gold coins in a glowing, clasped box at the end of a zigzagging, narrow passage. Perhaps it is a relic from antiquity. Hopefully, I haven't marred the historical record too much, by borrowing the coins. As it turns out, the apothecary in Varric did have a spare glass vial. I poured the lanolin into it, for safekeeping. I will use the metal jug to store ashes for soap making. I also was lucky enough to find a stoppered glass bottle while fishing. After I cook this dogfish, I will store his guts and bones in it. I will dump them in my compost when I get back home. Last but not least, I got a mug for my daily energizing imbibation. Time to cook up my meal. First, I will cut a branch of fat wood from a dead standing pine, and make a feather stick, to start my fire. It is a bit difficult to find dead standing pines, so I will keep some extra branches in my tinder box.
I cut down some more dead logs, made a fire, cooked the dog fish, gutted it, saved the cuttings in my bottle, and ate the fish. Fish have some vital nutrients. Now that I have my dog fish skin and a full belly, I am ready to make my cutting board. I have returned to this deciduous woodland, and found a dead standing walnut tree. It will be difficult to work with, but from the looks of it, there is a large middle section with usable wood. I don't want to fell a green tree, because I don't have a lot of storage space just yet. I have finished a rough hewn cutting board. The wood was rotted in a few places so I couldn't make it rectangular. I whittled it as smoothly as I could with my knife. Now I will sand it even smoother with the dogfish skin. Great. Now my new cutting board is smooth. I can now begin to process my acorns. I went back to the general store and picked up another jug for storing my acorn hulls, which I will put in my compost when I get home. First, I will break the acorns hulls with a hammer, to expose the nut meat. Next, I will mince the nut meat on my new cutting board before I head back to the shop for more tools. I found some small rocks I can use as a base for hammering. I finished breaking the hulls and I put them in a jug. Now to mince the meat. There we are, the nut meat is ready for the next step. I bought a pot, which will act as a mortar, for pulverizing the meat. I will chop another dead standing tree and make a wooden pestle. There, I have pulverized all the nut meat in the pot. I am a bit worried about the tannins in the acorns impeding their oil's saponification with the wood ash lye. I know the tannins can be leached out by soaking them in water, changed daily, for a week. I will do that before I press the oils out of the meat. And I will let the tannins soak out into the water. I will change the water tomorrow.
I found this old abandoned building on top of a small hill. This will probably be a good place to camp. Let me check my org. The weather for tonight looks good. I will camp here tonight. I made a quick tent pole and hung my cloak on it. I should keep warm tonight if I keep my fire going. And even if a spark jumps onto my cloak tent, it won't catch fire. Good morning. I slept pretty well. My fire died down during the night. I collected the ashes and put them in a metal jug. I changed the acorn pulp water. I will store the tannin water in a separate jug. I might be able to use it to tan a hide in the coming weeks. It will take another six days of changing the water, so I will bring the pulp back to my house and leave it there. I can run some other errands this week. In the meantime, ha 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 oh wow. <laughs> 